Hey everyone, it is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I was asked and it was regarding cookie-free domains in GT Matrix. I haven't officially gone through an entire GT Matrix guide yet, but it was asked and I get asked all the time by clients who I end up adding to Cloudflare and it is regarding to use cookie-free domains. I'm going to explain what this suggestion is why it doesn't really matter and whether you can fix it when you're using Cloudflare. So first off, if you're using Cloudflare, you can never fix this suggestion. The reason for this is because Cloudflare serves security cookies on every single request. The reason they do that is to help prevent traffic that's both legitimate from being treated as a bot and it's effectively a good way of whitelisting. So say you're a regular user and Cloudflare is like, okay, this is a good user. Instead of needing to validate that traffic every time, it adds the cookie on the resource that says, hey, this user requesting this resource is indeed a valid user and does not need to be blocked. On the flip side, if the user is a bot, this is a good mechanism to prevent them from requesting multiple resources from the server. And there's a variety of cookies that it does. Uh, it mentions right here in the documentation, there's CFLB, which is for the load balancing, CFBM, which is for Cloudflare bot management, and the CFDUID. They're probably most familiar with the CFDUID cookie as the load balancer cookie is really only for users who are using a load balancer. And the Cloudflare bot management is only available for enterprise users. And if you're a non-enterprise customer and you have bot fight, and bot fight mode enabled, this will also affect it. So effectively, we have the CFDUID cookie. What this is, is it mentions it helps Cloudflare detect malicious visitors and minimizes blocking of legitimate users. And if these cookies were not served, it could end up blocking legitimate users from accessing your website. And it could also prevent bots from being properly blocked. And one thing it does mention here is the always use HTTPS setting redirects all requests with HTTP to HTTPS. Depending on your always use HTTPS configuration, the cookie will either be a, a secure or non-secure resource. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. All that changes as it adds is HTTPS is equal to true or HTTPS is equal to false. You'll never be able to rude this suggestion. And honestly, I'm of the mindset that it doesn't matter. Um, the thing about GT Matrix is, is it's kind of a black box of almost wish list items. Uh, for instance, add expires headers. I have two resources, the rocket loader from Cloudflare, which I will not be able to set the headers from, and a Google font request. And I could, in theory, host the Google fonts locally, but I'm using some optimization on the Cloudflare side that doesn't really make it necessary. And I could go ahead and I could serve each one of these resources from a CDN. I could sign up for a key CDN. And what I could do then is set up a subdomain, not cache it through Cloudflare, and therefore it would have cookie-free domains. This is a very common tactic. And if you ever see general YouTubers who give a how I got 100 out of 100 on GT Matrix, this is how they do it. They use Cloudflare, but then they set up a CDN and they call it static or cdn.certmedia.com and they don't pass that traffic through Cloudflare. That's utterly silly. It's a silly, silly thing to do. Even if you removed all cookies, you wouldn't even amount to saving one kilobytes worth of data. You're far better off focusing on reducing the payload that you're serving to users by serving less JavaScript and less CSS than you are removing the cookies. So no, not only is this not fixable on Cloudflare, it shouldn't even bother to be fixed. And as far as I'm concerned, this is just a false positive and a fairly outdated suggestion. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.